We're following breaking news here on CBSN New York. The Supreme Court has thrown out the two convictions connected to the infamous 2013 Bridgegate scandal. Governor Chris Christie's former Deputy Chief of Staff Bridget Kelly and former Deputy Executive Director of the Port Authority Bill Baroni were both convicted of fraud and civil rights charges in 2016. The two were accused of helping to orchestrate the 2013 closure of lanes leading into the George Washington Bridge in Fort Lee as an act of political retaliation against the mayor of Fort Lee for failing to support Christie's re-election campaign. Despite their convictions, Kelly and Baroni have maintained their innocence, saying they were scapegoats and blaming Governor Christie. In a unanimous decision, the court said the government had overreached in the prosecution. After the Supreme Court ruling this morning, former aide Bridget Kelly issued a statement saying in part, last June, I was so appreciative when the U.S. Supreme Court granted certiorari and agreed to hear my case. Today, the court gave me back my name and began to reverse the six and a half year nightmare that has become my life. Having been maligned, I now stand with my family and friends knowing that due process worked. While this may finally have made this case right for me, it does not absolve those who should have truly been held accountable. And we'll bring you the latest updates on this story throughout the day here on CBSN New York and on our website, cbsnewyork.com. Temperatures have been up and down over the past few days and the next few days, no exception. Just take a look at what we are expecting. So we were at 63.